Most data scientists, and even aspiring data scientists, believe that business skills are important to work in this field. On the other hand, when it comes to learning them, there is a lot of confusion. What are business skills even? How do we develop them? Compared to learning the technical aspects of data science, there's a lot less clarity. Most data scientists that I personally know prefer to focus on learning the technical skills because that's easier to quantify and easier to evaluate. In this video, I hope to provide a somewhat informed take on what business skills entail. I'll also take a stab at some of the recommendations on how to develop them. First, how would we define business skills? To kick things off, I pulled some of my friends on LinkedIn to see what their take was on business skills for data science. I got some pretty interesting answers, some of which highlighted how poorly these business skills are defined. I'll be pulling from these as well as from my own experience to help define what these mean. One of the first things that came up was that an understanding of a company's business model can be very important. Something that was news to me quite a few years ago was that there are multiple types of ways that businesses can be successful. They can sell a product or a service. They can be online or brick and mortar, or they can have multiple channels that they make money with. If you wanna go even deeper, you have razor and blade models, you have franchise models, you have a bunch of different business frameworks that these organizations follow. Speaking of money, how organizations generate revenue or incur costs is very important. The ability for a data scientist to connect their work to the dollars made or the costs incurred is a highly valuable skill. Again, this can vary by the type of business model, but also the industry that the company is in. Understanding the specifics of an industry and the unique challenges that may be faced is extremely important. For example, if you worked in pharmaceuticals, understanding the legal costs of bringing a product to market and the overhead of getting approval through different studies is extremely important. That might be completely irrelevant if you're in a different domain. Another concept that's important on the business side has to do with the end goal. What is the problem that we're trying to uniquely solve with each project? Also, what problems would we like to solve in the future? And with this analysis, if we implement it, what problems could arise from it? Part of this comes from an understanding of the business from before. Another part comes from eliciting information from other people. Unfortunately, most organizations don't have great documentation on how the business is run. You have to, talk to people. I know, I know. Talk to people to understand why things are done in a certain way and what value is generated from the current processes in place. When I first started out, I found a listening information very difficult. I always felt like I was missing something when I tried to understand a problem. I kept getting one word answers to all the questions that I asked. And finally, I realized that it was me that was a problem. I was asking bad questions, so I was getting bad answers. Good questions allow other people to expand on a point. They aren't answered easily with a yes or a no. Some of the resources I'll provide later will give just a little bit more insight on how to ask good questions. Hello everyone, business stakeholder Ken here. And I have an offer for you that you can't refuse. The sponsor of today's video, 365 Data Science, is making all of their courses free from October 18th to November 18th. You heard that right, free. You don't even have to put in any credit card information or anything like that. Last year, 365 Data Science did something similar and they loved the engagement from the community. Over 100,000 people gained full access to their courses during this period, with millions of minutes of educational content consumed each day. 365 Data Science just released a new platform for viewing their courses and they wanted to celebrate by bringing back this 100% free month initiative. I have to say, the changes look awesome and there are some great new features as well. You can expect more practice questions, new incentives to keep you practicing daily, and even a great dashboard feature for tracking your progress. To recap, all the courses on 365datascience.com will be free from October 18th to November 18th. There's a link in the description and in the pinned comment to start your free learning journey today. Now let's move on from more high level skills to more tangible ones. For better or for worse, something integral to business is time. Meeting deadlines, hitting quarterly numbers, etc. I personally despise this aspect of business. It's probably why I do YouTube and I am involved in a very small company. But without a doubt, it's important. As a data scientist, how do you show your command of time without stealing Hermione's time turner? You learn to estimate your tasks accurately. From my work, I found that people usually either way overestimate or way underestimate how long individual tasks will take them. It's a rare skill to accurately evaluate how long it takes for you and your team to complete tasks. Yes, the project manager is there to help, 
but you're the one that actually has to meet the time deadline that's proposed. Getting on the same page as your team with deadlines and estimations shows that you value time in the same way that the business does. Part of understanding time is also understanding resources. A friend of mine that I used to work with always used to say, anything is possible if you have enough time or you have enough money. He'd basically tell me to pay him more, but I digress. If you don't have the capabilities to meet a strict deadline imposed by the business, having a conversation about how you could get the project done with additional resources is sure to open some eyes and potentially get you the resources that you want. As many of you may or may not know, I came into data science from management consulting. The biggest challenge for me in my transition was how information was delivered differently between the two career paths. When presenting to business stakeholders as a consultant, you almost always start with the recommendations. Sometimes you don't even go into the details about the process unless you're asked. To a scientist, this sounds ludicrous. It is heresy. Every research paper I've ever read is done the other way around. We talk about existing research, we introduce the research, we talk about our methodology, and then eventually we talk about the analysis and make concluding remarks. One of the things that makes data science different from business is that we work in shades of uncertainty, while business people usually need to make a binary decision. Yes, we should do this. No, we shouldn't. The way that we make recommendations requires us as data scientists to add caveats. These days, I have an internal conflict about how I should deliver information every day. <laughs> as a scientist, I think it's important to understand the alternative implications of a recommendation, but as a business person, I realize that if I go too far down a rabbit hole, a decision often won't get made. Understanding how to tweak your messaging to resonate with your unique audience, whether it's business people or data scientists, is an incredibly important skill. Honestly, I could probably make an entire video on how to talk to different people, so let me know in the comment section if that's something you'd like. The last skill that I want to highlight might be a surprise to some people. Networking is often thought of as an important part of getting the job, but not as relevant once you've landed your role. I would argue that it's actually one of the most important business skills that you can develop that'll help you advance your career. Networking on the job is all about understanding who the right person is to talk to about the specific problems and opportunities you're seeing. Once organizations reach a certain size, if you wanna get something done, going through the traditional channels can take forever. I remember during one of my internships, I had to make a ticket to access SQL Server. It took one of my peers three weeks to get this access. I was starting a little later and I talked to my boss after hearing this story and he told me to just email the certain guy and I ended up getting it in a day. Speaking directly to people can speed up this process exponentially and also create really cool, unique opportunities. Talking to people might help you uncover a data source that you didn't realize was available. It might give other people some insight about the capabilities of your team and it could lead them to initiate a project with you. Something that a lot of data scientists don't realize is that a lot of business people really don't know what data science can do. Talking with people, showing them that you're real people and not robots, goes a long way in earning their trust and also creating opportunities for your team, which can be something that's very, very important for an early stage data science team. As I mentioned, these conversations build trust and from my experience, trust builds success in business. Before I move on to how to accumulate these skills, I do have an honorable mention. I think that learning to give and receive feedback effectively is also an extremely important skill. This doesn't necessarily help you to interface with the business, but it can help you to get the most out of each role, each project, and each team that you're on. Okay, I know that took a little time, and we're finally through what business skills are. Now, how can you learn these business skills to help you excel in your career? I'm not an expert, but here are a few of the places where I've been able to advance my knowledge of the business domain. The first place is through books. In my opinion, one of the best ways to learn about business concepts is through reading. There are books about every single topic that I've discussed in this video today. A few that I've read that have helped me up to this point uh, with my business knowledge are On Strategy, The Four Disciplines of Execution, Start With Why, Good to Great, To Sell as Human, and Captivate. I'll link all those books and probably a couple more in the description below. The second place where you can pick up some of these skills is just by being part of the conversation. If you're currently a data scientist, just sitting in a room and hearing the conversations that the business stakeholders are having can be a great learning tool. You start to understand the language, what motivates people, their assumptions, and their incentives. You can contribute if you want, but just listening and getting to know teams can really go a long way. To start, I would encourage you not to make any recommendations. I would, however, say that asking good questions to understand problems that these business people are facing is a really positive thing. Even if you don't currently have a data science role, there are plenty of other ways to pick up these skills. One of my favorites is through projects. I'm sure you know that by now, if you've watched any of my other videos. <laughs> You can volunteer for an organization, or you can find some business peers to work on a project with. My friend Tina Huang did this really well when she was at school. Most universities have clubs or other resources that allow you to interact with your business peers, and if yours doesn't, 
why don't you start one? The fourth place I recommend looking into is formal courses. There are plenty of online resources to learn about business skills. And one of my master's degrees, as it so happens, was in the business domain. I definitely learned a lot from that program. Still, I don't think that anything that I learned at my master's degree is, is not available on the internet. It is literally all there for free. The last way I think that you can pick up these skills is through asking questions. The internet is an awesome place. There are quite a few YouTubers that are focused primarily on business. Why not ask them about their thoughts too? I hope this video helped to clarify a bit about how business and data science intersect. Let me know what you think are the most useful business skills in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.